What's up guys, last week we upgraded our tank, this week we're upgrading our filter with this bad boy, the Fluval FX6. We're going to talk about the proper way of setting it up to get it the most efficient as possible and I'm going to fill it up with a bunch of Biohome Ultimate. Ready? Let's go! Hey guys, welcome back to Caveman Aquatics. I'm Kev. Today we're talking about the FX6 canister filter media setup. But before we do, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and bell icon and make sure you don't miss any new content. So the first thing we need to be aware of, especially if you're upgraded from say a 406 or a 407, is the direction of water in your canister. In the 407, water would travel down the sides through your sponges and then up through your trays. And the FX6 is very different and very important to know. In the FX6, water is going to travel down your inlet tube all the way to the bottom of your canister. Then all your water is going to travel up the sides through all your coarse sponges. Once it reaches the top, it's going to overflow into your middle baskets. Your first middle basket should have very fine polishing pad on it. Then as it travels down through the middle, it'll hit every tray that carries your biomedia. Finally, it'll reach the bottom of your canister again where it gets forced back out into your tank. If you did upgrade your filter, let me know down in the comments what kind of experience you have with this upgrade. I'd like to know. So the first thing we're going to set up is all the sponges around each tray. They already come installed in the FX6, but you want to make sure that there aren't any gaps in it. Water is going to find the path of least resistance and bypass your sponge altogether, leaving it unmechanically filtered. You don't want that. So before we move on, let's make sure all these sponges are in the right place. Now that we got that done, we're going to start filling the trays inside. But before we do, it's important to know the order of filtration. No matter what kind of filter you have, be it a canister, a hang on back, or even a sump, the water filtration never changes. It's always mechanical, then biological, and finally chemical. This is important to grow beneficial bacteria efficiently, and the nitrogen cycle depends on it. If you need more information on the nitrogen cycle, check that video out. So keeping that in mind and understanding that water is entering your trays from the top down, we're gonna start filling up the bottom tray first. Understanding that the bottom tray is gonna be the last thing your water hits, this is the tray that you should have your chemical filtration in. Now, in my opinion, chemical filtration is not necessary in an aquarium, but it can be beneficial. Activated carbon can help in clearing up your water and remove medications from your tank. Purigen is also a great form of chemical filtration. It will remove dissolved particles and that tank smell. Both work as advertised, but again, it's up to your personal preference if you want to use chemical filtration. It is not absolutely necessary, it's totally up to you. Now, in my case, I use ChemiPure Blue. This stuff is activated carbon mixed with some purigen and whatever else is in this stuff, but this will definitely put your water clarity over the top. It's just my honest opinion, this stuff works. Another thing I use in this bottom tray is my bag of crushed coral. I keep African cichlids, which require a higher pH than most tropical fish. Since the pH of my tap board is about 7.0, this crushed coral in my canister helps to buffer my water and increase my pH. This is going to go in my bottom tray along with my ChemiPure Blue and that will do it for the bottom tray. Side note guys, if you don't keep African cichlids and don't have to worry about buffering your water, then you can do one of two things with this bottom tray. You can either fill it completely with biomedia and scratch the chemical filtration or you can do both, bio and chemical. The choice is up to you. Now I'm going to take it over to the sink and give it a quick rinse just in case. So I've got my bag of crushed coral at the bottom of my last tray, my bottom tray, and then I throw in one bag of the Chemi Pure Blue. 
As you can see, this is the activated carbon part, and here's the pyrogen part. This is going to complete our bottom tray. Now we're going to move on to the next tray up. This tray is going to consist of your biomedia. I went ahead and got some Biohome Ultimate, and I'm going to fill this entire FX6 with this stuff. Hopefully, the results come out great. Make sure it's nice and flush, packed in. I'm gonna go over to the sink and give it a quick rinse. You know what? I rinsed out that last batch and nothing came out of it. I'm just going to fill this tray up and set it right into the FX6. So your top tray is going to consist of one filter floss pad in this red tray and another filter floss pad below it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this, this pad and fill this tray with Biomedia. The more Biohome Ultimate we have in this canister, the better it's going to be. Now that we got this top tray about halfway full with the Biohome Ultimate, the very last thing you need is the top filter floss pad. That goes right on top of your top tray and it completes that tray. And there we go, all set up, ready to go. Let's get it back in the canister. You want to tighten these just snug, not too tight. Gasket is going to do most of the work for you. So here's a quick look at the FX6 installed. A side note, it does get heavy once filled with water. You want to make sure that it's placed in the position that you want it before filling it with tank water as it will get heavy and be more difficult to move. As you can see, I still have my Fluvo 407 also installed just for the purposes of the bacteria that's in it. The media inside the Fluo 407 is already seeded with bacteria and I don't want to remove it right away and disrupt the nitrogen cycle in my tank. So I'll leave both canisters on for a couple of weeks until the FX6 Biomedia gets seeded with bacteria as well. Here's a look at the hoses installed, including the hoses for the 407. If you notice how my hoses are set up, they're set up to provide the most efficient surface agitation. I've got my wave maker on the left side, pointing up, pushing the water towards the right. Then the Fluo 407's output is also facing towards the right. And then FX6 output is also facing to the right. As all the water gets pushed to the right on the top of the tank, it then gets pushed towards the bottom. And this wave maker pushes the water back across the bottom of the tank towards the left. 
This creates a circulation of water, kind of like a turbine in the tank, keeping constant water motion to prevent detritus from building up in any one area of the tank. There you have it guys, FX6 all set up and ready to go. Hopefully you found this information helpful. If so, first hit that like button, then press that subscribe button right there so you won't miss any new content, and then watch another helpful video. See you on the next one.